Hey, take a look at the sunset this evening. The latest we've seen in quite some time. Our official sunset still nearly an hour away. And you can thank or maybe blame the time change for that as daylight saving time has begun. Good evening, I'm Aaron Luna. And I'm Nia Wong. Research shows that hour of sleep loss because of daylight saving time impacts more than just your quality of sleep. Emily Bloom explains what's happening now to try and fix what some say is an outdated problem. Leaders across the nation and in our own region are in the fight to make daylight saving time permanent. Now it's got overwhelming support from both sides and we've been talking about it for years, but it still hasn't happened. Well, I was proud to sponsor a bill in 2019 that moved Washington State uh, to permanent daylight saving time. You might remember this. There was an overwhelming vote in favor of it, but here we are two years later and one hour of sleep down. In order for this to go forward, there would have to be congressional action. In the Northwest, we like those summer nights. Uh, those of us who are lucky enough to get on the lake, etc., uh, campfires. And while that's nice, Richelli is motivated by much more. You can see a decrease in cardiac arrest, strokes, traffic collisions, um, potential for reduction of crime, commerce can flourish in the sun, and um, I'm a champion for reducing uh, obesity and diabetes issues amongst our youth, and I think this allows them to re recreate later. Research shows the value this could create for our nation, not to mention the challenge parents face twice a year. Hey, I'm the parent of uh, some young children, and parents across the board know this wreaks havoc to the children's schedules. But some still have valid concerns. Children uh, going to school in the dark. And so actually when I passed the bill during that time, I conducted a, uh, a study. As the superintendent of a rural community, this concern is even more pressing. A lot of the kids, you know, standing next to highways or that, where they would be going to school, waiting for the bus in the dark with other cars going by in the dark. But they'll cross the bridge if we get there. A flashlight, a lantern, at least some wearing something reflective. Richelli conducted a study on this when the bill was passed. There was only two uh, collisions uh, that involved school-age children during school times, and uh, they were actually during the daytime. Meanwhile, many draw attention to the reality that this is obviously not our biggest concern, but Richelli points out we can focus on more than one issue at a time. But it is something we can do both, right? We can do all those hard challenges and handle the thing that people are sick of that they want to see change. And I actually think it restores a little faith in government to say, hey, this is something we agree upon. The most promising change on the horizon is through the Sunshine Protection Act that was created by Senator Marco Rubio back in 2019. He reintroduced it last week and it is a bipartisan bill. Now, if this went through, the entire nation would change to daylight saving time permanently. That means that after yesterday's switch, we would simply keep our time where it's at and come November, we would not roll back. Reporting live in Spokane, Emily Bloom for News Now.